Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a simple, quick, fun video comparison between Linux Mint 21 on the left-hand side here versus Manjaro 21.2 on the right-hand side here. So before I get into it, uh, I do actually, well, I'll say that they're both running on XFCE, uh, the desktop environment there, but uh, Linux Mint 21 is based off the, the newest long-term service release of Ubuntu. Uh, so you get updates for about five years or so. And we have uh, the Manjaro 21 is actually running off a bit of a rolling release of Arc, of Arc Linux in the back end there. So just so you're aware of that. But before I go any further, let's have a quick look at the RAM before I use any actual apps themselves. We can see that Linux Mint's running on about 550 megabytes of RAM on boot up and Manjaro running on also about 550 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So that's pretty good to see. Well, let's have a look at the desktop or the uh, yeah the desktop really and the start menus here. So they are actually using the same packages, XFCE desktop environment. We can see that uh, Manjaro is a lot more customized in the way that it looks. So it's got this nice dark mode. It's got this uh, green accents on it there as well. Also exemplified by the icon sets there. Linux Mint, uh, otherwise on the left hand side, uh, has gone with a bit of a Linux Mint theme, wallpapers, colored icons, icon sets. Uh, and uh, taskbars down the bottom there. But let's have a look at the file manager and see this should be pretty much the same. Of course, we've got a bit of a nice ebony and ivory, a little bit of a dark mode there, which I tend to enjoy and love with Manjaro. A little bit too white in my opinion for Linux Mint 21 there, but they are both running off the same Duna file manager there. Let us have a look at the, uh, the context menus on the desktop. So again, pretty much the same. It is running on the same uh, type of uh, front end there, so you're gonna have the same basic options. Let's jump to the back end and see what's happening here. So we have uh, running on the same kernel, so running on the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint, uh, and also 5.15 for Manjaro, which is probably a little bit unusual. That's gonna update soon because it is actually running on Arc, uh, so the Arc Linux distro. So you're gonna get a later and greater kernel long term with Manjaro over Linux Mint, which can be a little bit extra useful. So just say if you've got uh, later GPUs, CPUs, Wi-Fi cards, you name it, it's got it. It's gonna have it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, oh, we'll have a look, quick look at the the software manager. See what's going on there. So the software manager, aptly named software manager for Linux Mint, uh, on the left hand side here. On the right hand side, what have we got? We've got add remove software so let's see if this is any good might mm, yeah it's okay it's okay so you can choose by categories you got your search option there i happen to like the software manager one better we've got the editor picks uh it shows a lot of the uh really popular apps particularly the the, the free proprietary ones like dropbox virtual box steam skype spotify uh even some of the microsoft ones might be there these days uh, but you got the same basic functionality. The uh, on the right hand side, we can see that Majaro Linux allows for an update section. It's probably going to want to do an update right now, to be honest, which I don't want to get into. <laughs> uh, yeah, one point six gigabytes. Goodness me. <laughs> In fact, uh, on that topic, what I might do is just close that out and perform a quick little update query and see what it does. It's having some issues. No, I'm just gonna show you something really cool there, maybe on another video. But uh, that's pretty much it guys. Just a super simple, quick uh, comparison video between the two here. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.